So if you've noticed an increase in flooding to your home in recent years, there might actually be a reason for it, and it doesn't have to do with more rain. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas is live in Inglewood right now. Rebecca, neighbors say they've noticed more water since there was a city project in 2015. Yeah, Lauren, that's exactly right. And what the city says is that there are sewer lines running under this road and the storm water was going into those because they were cracked. Well, that's not what those sewer lines are for, so they fixed it. Now neighbors say that storm water is going into their basements. Here's the thing. This road is at quite a significant incline here, so that rainwater runs down the road and some of these neighbors have ditches to collect that storm water, but the ones that don't tell me that they have spent thousands of dollars in years begging the city for help. I dread rain, especially what we're having come this week. Some pumps working in overdrive. These are in Danielle Casey's next door property. They've been going for more than two weeks. We're just pushing it all into our backyard, saturating our yards. She loses sleep every time there's heavy rain. Making sure that the basement's okay and now the building in the backyard is okay. Her 70 year old home and the nearly 80 year old house she owns next door never used to flood until about three years ago. Basically, they took away the only only avenue of a storm drain system that we had. She's talking about the city. Here's what we found out. In 2015, sewer pipes in Inglewood were aligned to keep storm water out. The problem is, Casey says they've been given no alternative storm draining solution. We have put so much money into these properties already trying to prevent. When the city would not give them permission to dig a ditch in front of their property, they dug out their basement, installed sump pumps and French drains. She estimated they've spent more than $20,000 fighting water. When you ask the city for help and you get put a, put a swamp garden in your yard, it's disappointing. So here's the thing. The city tells me that this is not because they patched up those sewer lines. They say that not enough rainwater was getting into those lines to begin with in order for it to now be causing a problem in these neighborhood basements. I asked them about the ditches, why they can't just put one here. They say this road isn't at enough of an incline in order for that water to go down to the end of the road where the storm drains are. Lauren? It's always something, right? Rebecca, thank you very much.